Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1057th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni. Traders, this video is video 1057 in a series of educational videos which teach you the art of technical analysis. This video is for trading on Wednesday, August 7, 2013. As we know, futures trading can be extremely risky and cause substantial financial loss. Futures trading is not suitable for all trading accounts. Okay, what are we looking at, traders? Sorry to say, but as of today's action in the S&P, we are looking at a red omni for trading on Wednesday. Boo! Red Omni for Wednesday, boo. Red Omni, and oddly enough, it shows up green. Red Omni coming our way. I hate the idea behind it, but it is what it is, traders. And if it's going to be a Red Omni, it's going to be a Red Omni. That's the way it works. So we have a Red Omni for trading on Wednesday. Now, I don't know how, how long I want to be short this market, so if you are going to take any short trades, be very, very nimble with the Red Omni, but here it is. Traders, yesterday I put this chart before your eyes and said it looks like it's going to hold support right here. Well, it did not. In fact, this is what it looked like. And I said, I believe we're going to hold support right here as of yesterday. Well, yesterday took place being Tuesday, and here's the result. The market came through the support, support is breached, and now we have to wonder, is this a flat top in the S&P? I kind of think it is. Is this a flat top in the S&P? We do know that flat tops produce market drops. This we know. Flat tops produce market drops, and if that's a flat top, we know what's coming next. Omni's got a red arrow. On top of that, support was breached. I say we get at least a one-day reprieve here. Let's look for some downside. Let's move to another chart. I have some more evidence on our side here. Traders, let's look at the ES first, and then we'll come back to this. This is a nice-looking chart, but let's do a little more ES first. All right. Here's the E-mini S&P chart. We had this line, which I showed you in last night's video, this line right here. I can darken it in for you. This line right here, and I said, this is something very interesting. Once again, I will erase today's bar like it didn't happen, and the bar that we're in at the moment in time. So this is where we were last night when we did our analysis. Looks to me like this is going to hold. Why? Because this line was resistance, was resistance for a second time. When it got above, it held their support, and it held their support. And I said, okay, that's three valid touches of that line. It should hold. Well, in turn, Tuesday happened, and here's what happened. We breached the line. Support was tested and breached. So now we've got to start looking for some downside, at least for a day. Let's go look at NASDAQ. Here's your NASDAQ. Traders, I've been showing you this chart day after day, right? Taking you through it and saying, look, the NASDAQ should get to 3119, then 3147 off of this flag. Well, it did get way above 3119. We got all the way up like 3140, but it didn't hit 3147. It has started to put in what could be another flat top. Scary, but this could be a flat top right here. So that would be more evidence. We did not breach the support like we did in the S&P, but this could be a flat top. That would be the second flat top. Then you've got your Russell. The Russell is in a bull flag, and it's rotating inside of that flag. What does that mean? Well, it's going up down up sticks its head out a little right back down so the likelihood that it comes down to this blue line again the bottom of the flag is okay there's nothing wrong with that happening in a flag but we did breach this parallel channel right here and breaching this channel tells me we likely start now to head to the bottom of the flag so maybe another one day reprieve in the indices nasdaq s p russell we shall see I will say this, no matter what you do, make sure that after going short or before you ever get short, you've got your stops in because we just made all-time highs in the S&P and the NASDAQ and the Russell just two days ago. 
There's no think, no, no need to think that this thing's going to run for the hills in reverse. But Omni went red and we go short. No questions asked. That's how that works. Let's move over to the precious metals. Traders, silver. Look at this silver chart. Something very interesting about silver. Look at it. One flag, two flag, three flag, four flag. There's more. I didn't point them all out. I want you to look at that for a moment. Keep silver in mind and then follow me on this little journey. This is gold. Gold has had these series of bear flags, and I've been showing them to you day after day, and rock and roll, the Omni caught the gold right at the high yesterday, right at the high. Beautiful trade. Gold has been falling out of the bear flag and is starting to pick up a little steam on the downside now. Gold looks like it's going lower again for trading on Wednesday. Now, you see we've fallen out of the flag, and we're starting to go in gold, right? Let's go back to that silver chart. When you look at the silver chart, there's a different picture here. It has not fallen yet. Fund managers, traders, are you listening? Look, silver has not fallen out of the flag yet. What is it waiting for? Gold is down. Silver will go down. What's it doing up? So I kid you not, I think that silver is the next one to go. If you're a silver bug, do your homework. See if you think that the silver needs to catch up to gold on the downside. Here at the Omni Trading Academy, we're bigger fans of the gold market than we are the silver, so I'd rather play in the gold and send out gold Omni recommendations. But this is silver. I think I got a little setup here for you, Omniax. Take a look at it for yourselves. And don't forget, above all, this is the picture that we do not want to forget about. We may very well be working on a flat top right here. Even though we just put all-time highs in in the S&P, that doesn't mean a little pullback could come our way. Traders, that's what I wanted to show you for Trading Wednesday. Come on down to LiveWithOscar.com. Come into my free chat room and allow me to help you become a better analyst. For you traders that were trading with me on Tuesday, boy, did we get out by the skin of our teeth. We got blessed. We bought NASDAQ, got out of NASDAQ at the highs. We sold gold and it dumped. Then we bought S&P at the end of the day and we got out of the S&P about unchanged. So miraculously, on a bad day in the markets on Tuesday, Omni got us through. Now, Omni flipped to red and I say the Omni is going to probably lead us to the downside for a day or two here. Traders, once again, live with Oscar.com. Always remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Traders, thank you so much for coming, and please stay tuned for the next installment.